Good day everyone. How are you doing today? I pray that you are all in good health and that you are safe in the confines of your home or wherever it is that you are at this very moment. Indeed, it's a joy and privilege for me to, to be with you today to share on a, a topic that I feel has hounded many, many of us, myself included, included during our entire adult life, and that is fatigue and burnout. You see, fatigue and burnout are silent predators. If you compare them to uh, wild animals, they are actually pack hunters that bring with it their brand of mischief together with their cohorts. These are fear, anxiety, restlessness, sleeplessness, and of course, depression. You see, fatigue and burnout are truly a terrible pair. It creeps in conspicuously. And before you know it, you are already in the midst of it. It's like a slippery slope. You don't even feel falling into fatigue and burnout. You just suddenly wake up one day and see yourself in that very place that you fear most. You suddenly start to see yourself being fatigued, being so tired, and then this feeling of burnout. Now, it is possible that you are experiencing this at this very moment. So what are the what are the symptoms? What are the common signs that we are to look for as we look on your uh, that you are on your way to fatigue and burnout? Let me share with you some. This is not exhaustive, but this is basically what I have experienced and what I have felt in my life during the time that I went through this difficult uh, difficult situation myself. First of all, you get a general feeling of tiredness. You just feel so tired. You feel physically, mentally, emotionally tired. You just want to rest. And then because you have a general feeling of tiredness, something that you cannot put your finger into, you become irritable and easily angered. A simple thing would, allow, would get you to flare up. And you would start to think that people don't understand us. We become restless and we have sleeplessness. We have ir an irrational fear and anxiety. We don't know where it's coming from. We just have this fear. We just have this unexplained anxiety in us. As if something is going to happen and yet we don't know what it is. We look at our jobs, we look at the things that we do, but still, we really don't know how we are going to move through it. We have feelings of nausea when evening comes. We don't want the night time to come. We just want to go back to the, to the day that has passed. We're afraid of going into the next day. And then we have, although we have this restlessness and sleeplessness, we still have this uncontrolled desire to sleep in, not to get up in the morning. Fatigue and restlessness makes us or makes us unable to think rationally, especially about work. We become forgetful, we lack focus or we lost focus in the things that we need to do. And then because we are so overwhelmed, we are so lost into it, we make rash decisions. And finally, when we see ourselves becoming unproductive, we do social withdrawal. We withdraw from people, and as we withdraw from people, we have this overwhelming feeling of incompetence that we are unable to do what we need to do. And so, the moment that comes in, what we do is we start to tune out. We don't want to have anything to do with our jobs. We don't want to have anything to do with tomorrow. We just want to stay where we are, safe in our cocoon, thinking that as long as I don't move, I'm going to be okay. My friends, fatigue and burnout are normally caused when we overestimate our ability or when we want to accomplish more than we can handle. It also occurs when we are overwhelmed with so many tasks and we are unable to prioritize them according to importance. When all these things converge, when all these things come together, you start to get the feeling, this overwhelming feeling that of everything that you just need to do. 
you then enter into a vicious cycle. The more you look at things, the more you see that there are so many things that you need to do, you start to have this feeling of panic, of not knowing what to do, and yet you need to accomplish them. And so you become anxious. And as you become anxious, you try to do whatever, everything that you need to do all at one time. And because you're unable to think well, the anxiety takes over, and then you are unable to accomplish what you need to accomplish, the anxiety doubles. Then, it, then you start to panic. And in your panic, you try to get things done. Unable to do it, you go back into the panic mode. And it just goes on and on and on to the point that we become so unproductive, we become unable to accomplish even the simplest thing that we need to do. We start to resent people who are more productive than us, and then we start to resent ourselves, thinking that we are useless and incapable. And at that point, we start to tune out, and we start to enter into our very own cocoon and start to believe that we are not made to get things done, that we are a failure, that we are unproductive. My friends, I know exactly how it feels to be fatigued and to burn out. As they say, I've been there, I've done that, I have my own struggles with it, as well as the difficulty that goes into it. I am much too familiar with the feeling of helplessness it brings, the feeling of failure, the feeling of being unproductive, the desire to just withdraw into myself, not to care about anybody else, and the very strong desire just to get out of the things that I needed to do. I move from a fight mode into a flight mode. And when I get into my flight mode, I start to have a feeling of paralysis, not knowing if I can run away from it, feeling helpless about all of this thing. My friends, fatigue and burnout happens in the midst and in that midst of helplessness. They are a twin. They come together. They feed on each other. As we become tired, we start to have this feeling of burnout. And as we become burned out, we start to become so exhausted with life that we want to get out of it. Now, let me share with you the secret to a fatigue and burnout lifestyle. You see, as I mentioned earlier, I actually went through that difficulty. And I actually went through the process up to the point of depression. I actually went to the point wherein I didn't want this life anymore. I just wanted to kill over and die. I just wanted to get out, to get off of this world. I felt so empty. I felt so useless. I felt like I will never be able to be a productive member of society. Therefore, I have no. I felt that I did not have any place within this world. But guess what? I have learned from Scripture the very secret, the solution to give me back the joy of life, to allow me to get back on my feet, to turn away from, to recover from my fatigue, to recover from the feeling of burnout and to be able to stand once again, not proud, but confident and courageous because of who God is. Matthew 11, 28 to 30 holds the secret. It says, Jesus said, says to, the, to his disciples, Come to me, all who are tired and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon yourself and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. 
the very core of fatigue and burnout is self-dependence. The very core of fatigue and burnout is believing that we can do everything. That is our default. That is the way we have been wired because of the sinfulness that we have been born into. It is a feeling that we can accomplish everything and we can accomplish it better than other people. There is only one place where we will be able to find refuge from this despicable twin called fatigue and burnout. And that is to rest at the feet of Jesus. The verse says, Come to me all who are tired and heavy laden. This gives us a picture of somebody who has been carrying a burden for so long, unable to put it down because he doesn't he doesn't want he doesn't know if he can give it up or not. And here's what Jesus Jesus is saying. You come to me with the burden that you are carrying. And I will, you take my yoke upon yourself. In other words, my friends, here's what Jesus is saying is this. We will find refuge from fatigue and burnout at the, at the feet of Jesus. When we start to observe the symptoms of burnout in our lives, we can turn to Jesus. He is our eternal Savior. His promises stand forever. And if He says He will give us rest, believe me, He will give us rest. He will give us this unexplainable peace that comes from carrying His yoke. You see, the picture of the, the yoke is of two, two carabaos or two cows. The bigger cow carries the load, but the yoke that he has is also on a smaller cow. The one doing most of the work is actually the bigger cow, while the smaller cow just walks with him. The burden is not on the smaller animal. The burden is on the bigger, more mature animal. That is what he is saying. He is saying that when you come to me, if you are heavily laden, if you are burdened, you come to me because I will carry that yoke. I will carry that burden. And you will simply walk with me throughout this journey. You see, my friends, here's what I'd like us to believe when it comes to Jesus. He is not limited by time and space, for He is the one who created it. The beauty and magnificence of Jesus is this. He is the creator of the universe. He holds everything in His hand. He gives order to all things and nothing is created apart from Him. Yet this majestic creator of the universe is also Emmanuel, God with us. He is concerned about running the, cosmi the cosmos, but at the same time, He is concerned with our personal well-being. The God of the universe is the same God that resides in our heart. The God who created order in the universe is the same God who can give order in our life. You see, the Bible says that He counts the numbers of the stars. He gives names to all of them. He cares for every single one of them. And if He can care for the stars that He has created, He cares much, much more about us, whom He created in His very own image. If the God who spoke the world, the universe, to be something, to create something out of nothing. What more, how much more concerned will He be for us in whom He has breathed life through our nostril? The God of the universe, where he whose, heaven, whose throne is heaven and earth is His footstool, is the same God who walks with us every day is the same God who resides in our heart 
He is the same God who helps us every day. And if He is sovereign over this world, if He is not bound by time and space, what would prevent Him from actually guiding us and leading us? My friends, sometimes we underestimate who He is. You see, Jesus is concerned about our well-being. He knew us from our mother's womb. We were fearfully and wonderfully made by Him. He is the one who called us upon Himself. And we are His greatest accomplishment. Notice what we need to do. When we are overwhelmed and fatigued, we are to pause, come before Jesus, and lay our burden on His feet. He will not remove the task at hand, but He will lift the burden from us and see us through. Throughout the days ahead, He knows exactly where we are going. He knows exactly what He wants for us. He holds our future in our hands and His promises He cares so much for us. So why should we worry? When we lay our burdens upon His feet, we rest in Him. When we lay the burdens upon His feet, we will find comfort in Him. When we lay our burdens upon His feet, we will have clarity of mind to see through everything that is causing our concern and finally discover that there is really nothing that we should worry about. There is really nothing that should take the rest away from us. He has given us this day to enjoy and to faithfully accomplish what we need to accomplish because He will take care of tomorrow which is in His hands. When we are resting in Him, we have the wisdom, we will have the wisdom to recalibrate our life and put order in our priority. And finally, when we rest in Him, the overwhelming feeling of restlessness and anxiety brought about by fatigue and burnout will be relaxed by an overwhelming feeling of calmness and restedness. This calmness and restedness does not come from us doing more work than we should. This calm and restedness comes from us sitting at the feet of Jesus, trusting in Him, knowing that He is in control of our lives. Now, here's the kicker. Here's the best part of all. When He promises us, to when we rest in Him, the promise that God gives us is actually found in Isaiah chapter 10, 28 to 31. It says, Do you not know? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, does not become weary or tired. His understanding is inscrutable. He gives strength to the weary, and to him who lacks might, he increases power. Though youth grow weary and tired and vigorous men stumble, yet those who wait on the Lord will gain new strength. They will mount up with wings like eagle. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not become weary. My friends, the truth that is found in this passage reveals the very heart of God. He is our everlasting God. He has created everything. His mind and wisdom is beyond our comprehension. And yet, in His magnificence and in His greatness, look what He does. He gives strength to those who wait on Him. When we begin to get overwhelmed, when you are overwhelmed, and you start to experience the symptoms of fatigue and burnout, take the following steps. First, pause and pray. 
that is the most important thing that you should do. That should be the default that you should have. Put yourself in the holy presence of God and believe in His promise of rest. And as you pause and as you pray, ask for clarity of mind and then trust in His sovereignty. Next is you step back and determine your priorities. When tasks or commitment, what tasks or commitment really matter and which do not? For the tasks that do not really matter and does not get you any closer to your goal, you should have the courage to let it go. You should have the courage to set it aside. Okay? For the tasks that matters and are important, you should have the commitment and perseverance to finish it. Third, pray once again for mental fortitude and wisdom to finish the task that do really matter. As someone once said, do your best as if everything depended on you, then pray to the Lord as if everything depended on you. My friends, trust the Lord, find comfort in Him. He knows and holds your future in His hand. May the Lord grant you peace as He gives you rest. God bless you all. I have two questions that I'd like you to discuss and I'm going to flash it on the screen. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I lift up to you my brothers and sisters who are present here at this time. Father, I don't know where they are in their journey. I don't know whether they're at the, at the, at the point of fatigue and burnout. I don't know if they're at the point of giving up. I don't know if this is simply, the symptoms are just starting. But you know the content of the heart of every single one. And Father, I pray that as you have ministered to me during those times when I went through the darkness of fatigue and burnout, may you also minister to them. May they rest in you. May they sit at your feet. And may they experience the rest, the calmness, the renewed strength that comes from you, Lord. All this we ask in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much, and may the Lord grant you peace and be blessed.